Republic of Freedom, capital Sierra Leone, vast land of beauty with hills and mountains. Nearly over 70% of its population still live below poverty lines. It's tough with survival. Beside health and price control and food, shelter become the worst problem as settlement for everyone. Over 80% of the people every day are allocating or developing construction for living up with beauty looks of hills and its mountains. Forgetting deforestation, volcanic eruptions, aching and landslide issues, which occurred few years back, that leads us to tragic loss of many lives. This beauty are meant to be desired and enjoyed not to be destroyed by us. Not about a choice for live up here. I will come with people who afford the money for parentage done at the city. The worst thing for live up here are doing the rainy season. We can get too many challenges then, but like for health, food, and buckle other things there. I think there is a choice rather than the opinion to cut down the trees of the hills and mountains for housing, construction, and living. What if while we are constructing this housing up there at the same time, creating destruction for our future generation behind us? This job is not a choice of food. We very hard labor for survive. I like me became ever free to educate. He may say I get for good extra money to take care of them. Make the hill feel like my own. For broke stone, it will be my work. Long time ago, before I came to the city, I can't find myself up here. Me not be blacksmith. And you know, work like that didn't make out enough for me to take care of your responsibility. Every day, you know what I mean? For any self around the situation, you get no choice but not for Fena. Challenges, problems, less opportunity, poverty, and struggle. You get for do your best as possible for life. And of course, this kind of work is not even good for the environment to believe. As you see, all the ill parts here. Now so they be there, but they may sit down tight. And we get for come up, we will they come up like King just the tap here and the money the brush and so many people are with their money. Let's know that nature is the gift from God. We are the cause of global change. Let's start planning now with goal and vision for the future and our presence. Welcome to Freetown of the Hills during the season of rain with the poor. Starvation. High pricing on food always at this crucial time I am. Sickness. High death rate. Less movement for people to do their daily day to day business work. If you are among the poor, expect the worst during this time of the year.
the sleuth of Freetown provides a clue as to why so much rubbish ends up in the coastal slums when it rains. Litres are brought down from the hilltops carried by the city rivers and quarters. It makes it very uneasy for students and pupils to access the universities and schools. The struggle for proper public transport and infrastructure during this time from May through November becomes crucial and tough. As many students who live far away from schools are at the roadside of flooded streets and often miss classes. The increasing population of people, as most had migrated to the city to find work, increased the demand on housing and food. For many years ago, all we could see were trees and grasses, but now this has all been replaced by houses and activities. Most of the greenery has now disappeared and has been replaced with structures providing shelter for the city's ever-growing population. As the rain fast approach heavily every day, the daily challenges of providing enough nutritious food becomes harder from June until August, which makes it very difficult again in growing food during this time around. Freetown becomes so wet and cold as market places grow wild and busy under the fall of the tides. Beaten mud paths that pass for roads throughout the rest of the year turns to impossible obstacles with people to buy or sell for survival. As the amount of food available decreases and the time and expenses needed to move food around the country increases, it becomes most vulnerable risk for the poor. It is not usual for the storms to last for a whole week without interruption. Often, the roads are washed away or become blocked. People then have a hard time in bringing their goods to market, which affects the rest of the communities with less food available. As the price dramatically increases, as a result many are left hungry because they cannot afford to purchase the expensive food. Bike riders run from distance to distance all through with so people as the wind blows. The ocean with water so brown, it almost seems unreal. Contaminated water is washed into open drinking water wells and rivers by means of fierce towing along this running river located near side of these communities. According to a local clinic, malaria, diarrhea and cholera are the most common health complaints which lead to malnutrition, sickness and death cases all around. The river is littered with garbage which is indiscriminately disposed by the resident. The natural flow of water becomes disrupted by this time. This river bed becomes a breeding ground for mosquitoes during the time of dry season because it has been torn into a dumping ground during the raining season. The coating of rubbish is around 3 to 5 feet deep beneath which lies sand. With such poor foundations, houses are often unstable and vulnerable to flooding. We hope that there can be changes to stop the deterioration of the environment. Environment degradation has resulted in communities across Sierra Leone experiencing adverse climate conditions, floods and landslides. We should be empowered and given the space to connect with our peers and raise our voices and speak against the action that fuel climate change and its devastating effect on us. When you're old, it's good to look back and say you were part of the generation that helped address climate change. 
we should plan on studying environmental law in universities so we will be better equipped to help protect the environment. Laws should be instituted to discourage harmful practices such as tree coating and coal production and alternative sources of livelihood should be provided, especially for these coal producers. I think together as citizens, these will go a long way in addressing climate change issues in Sierra Leone and reducing its potential impact on agricultural production, water resources and human health and disasters.